Hello, I am Aniket from Turkish Academy. CMAT 2023 is actually around the corner now, and we have 10 days left for the exam. For that, we have started with the daily video series. So this is, I guess, our 17th or 18th session of the daily video series. Our target is to score more than 300 marks in the exam. To help you achieve this target, we are starting with a free workshop for the CMAT exam. Okay, for this free, this free workshop will be conducted on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 4 to 6 p.m. If you want to attend this workshop, connect with us on the numbers given in the description of the video. You can send a WhatsApp message on the number given in the description of the video and they'll share the meeting link with you. Okay, if the response is good for the workshop, we'll continue in the next week as well. But majority of the syllabus or majority of the important topics will cover in these uh, three days. Okay. Now, another important topic is government schemes for startups and businesses that are there. So in this video, we are going to discuss about 30 plus government schemes that uh, government have started to aid the startups. Okay. Moving forward, if you want to join our academy, for MB entrance exam preparation, do connect with us on the numbers given in the description of the video. I would highly recommend that you join our Telegram channel. Our Telegram channel is a good source to solve your academic and non-academic doubts. Other fellow students will help you solve your doubts over there. We also try to put in some interesting quiz and questions in that on that Telegram channel so that you can participate in that as well. So Telegram channel is a good tool to be aware about what all things have going on in the MB entrance exam market. Okay, let us start. So this is going to be a little bit boring session for you guys because we are not going to go through it through uh, what you say MCQs. Okay, we, are, we have written down the scheme and we have written down what is included in that scheme. Okay, you will have to make a note of it. Okay, so first is Samrit scheme. The Samrit scheme will support accelerators to select and accelerate potential IT startups to scale for solving India's problem and creating positive social impact. The Samrit scheme will provide first round of funding up to 40 lakhs. Okay, now we are introducing you to the schemes. There are many other things that are included while you study about these schemes, but that are not those are not important. Okay, for example, what is the eligibility to enroll yourself or enroll your startup in the Sunbridge scheme? And all these things we are not going to get into. What is Sunbridge scheme? What which sector it is going to support? Okay, that is what we are oh, broadly going to see in this video. Okay, because that is what is expected in the exam. In last year's exam, uh, last year's CMAT exam, there were few questions on based on government schemes uh, for startups and businesses in India. So those uh, questions were not uh, very much in detail. If you had a basic idea of what this scheme is and which uh, industry or which sector does it support, that should be sufficient. Okay. So Startup India Seed Fund. On 16 January 2021, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the launch of Startup India Seed Fund to help startup and support ideas from aspiring entrepreneurs. PM Modi said that the government is taking important measures to ensure the startup in India do not face any capital shortage. So startups in India do not face any capital shortage. The seed fund will be dis dispersed to eligible startups through eligible incubators across India and Expert Advisory Committee, EAC, has been constituted by Department of Promotion uh, of Industry and Internet Trade. And so full form of D DPIIT is Department of Promotion of Industry and Internet Trade, which will be responsible for the overall execution and monitoring of the Startup India Seed Fund Scheme. Okay. Then Startup India Initiate. Under the Startup India initiative, eligible companies can get recognized by startups as startups by DPIIT in order to access a host of tax benefits. So Startup India initiative 
is based on host of tax benefits, easier compliance, IPR, fast tracking, and more. Over 96,000 startups are registered with the DPIIT till March 2023. Next, Startup Leadership Program. The Startup Leadership Program, as the name indicates, is built to empower outstanding founders and it is built to empower, empower outstanding founders and innovators. Launched in 2020, launched in 2016 in India, SLP, Startup Leadership Program, program is designed as highly selective six month world class training program and lifetime net okay so starter top leadership program includes six months world class training program and lifetime net network aspire the government has made continuous effort to improve the social and economic aspects of life in rural areas of india and uh, one of the most popular schemes that the indian government has sanctioned is the in this regard is Aspire. Okay, so Aspire is social and economic aspect of life in rural areas of India. Okay, a scheme of promotion of innovation, rural industries and uh, entrepreneurship. Full form is a scheme of promotion of innovation, rural industries and entrepreneurship. Is Government of India initiative promoted by Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, the Mudra Bank provides startup loan of up to 10 lakh to small businesses, small enterprises and businesses which are non-corporate and non-farm micro enterprises. Okay, so non-corporate and non-farm small uh, or micro enterprises. Okay, so Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana is not for agricultural business. Mudra comes under Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, which was launched on 8th April 2015. The loan have been categorized as Shishu up to 50,000, Kishwa between 50,000 to 5 lakhs and Tarun up to 10 lakhs. So we have seen this in previous video as well. Tunoti, Tunoti the Pandemic Influence Scheme is a Government of India initiative named Tunoti Challenge Hunt under NGIS for Advanced Inhibited Technology Intervention to invite startups to develop solutions for problems amid pandemic. To develop solutions for problems amid pandemics. Launched in August 2020, Tunoti is a startup challenge initiative under the Next Generation Incubation Scheme. Okay, so Next Generation Incubation Scheme, NGIS. The government has chosen a budget of over 95 crore over a period of three years for this program. This program aims to identify around 300 startup work, working in identified areas. The startup selected uh, through the challenge would be provided incubation support mentorship. So they will be provided incubation support mentorship, all relevant facilities, as well as funding support, such as cloud credits from leading third party service providers. Okay, seeding for uh, seed funding up to rupees 25 lakhs as well as rupees 10,000 in monthly monetary support to each intern startup in pre incubation for a period of six months to help them evolve their business plan and solution around the proposed idea. Okay, Polcom Semiconductor Mentorship Program. Polcom, the mobile chipset manufacturing giant, has partnered with Center for Development of Advanced Computing. Okay, so Qualcomm, Mobile Chipset Manufacturing Giant. It has partnered with CDAC to conduct the Qualcomm Semiconductor Mentorship Program 2022 for startups that are working in the Indian semiconductor space. Qualcomm India is planning to provide mentorship, technical training, and industry outreach opportunities to the Indian startup that help from Semiconductor space, semiconductor space with this program. Okay. Digital India Bhashini. The Digital India Bhashini scheme aims to help the Indians with ease, easy access to the internet and digital services in vernacular languages. So Digital India Bhashini, it aims at uh, providing easy access to the internet and digital services in vernacular languages. Okay. Digital India Genesis, the genesis in this in the scheme implies Gen Next support for innovative startups. So Genesis full form is Gen Next support for innovative 
startups. This is a government of India scheme that is launched to empower the national deep tech startups. Okay, the national deep tech startups uh, will be supported by Digital India Genesis. India Water Pitch Pilot Scale Startup Scheme, the Scale Startup Challenge. This initiative is to support the water sector startups and lead them through government, through growth, through innovation and design that will drive sustainable economic growth and generate employment opportunities. Okay. So this is for water sector startups. Atal Innovation Mission. Atal Innovation Mission was established to create a promotional platform involving academicians and draw upon the national and international experience to foster a culture of innovation, research, and development. Okay. So Atal Innovation Mission, it is to, as, to create a promotional platform involving academicians. The government allocated AIM around rupees 1, INR 150 crore in the year 2015. AIM's goal, goals include building 10,000 Atal tinkering labs and 101 Atal incubation centers, as well as sponsoring 200 businesses through Atal New India Challenges until March 2023. EBIS portal. EBIS was the first electronic government to business portal found, which was founded in January 2013. The main purpose of the portal was to transform and develop conducive business environment in the country. EBIS portal was developed by Infosys in public-private partnership model. It was designed as a communication center for investors and business communities in India. Okay, EBIS portal bhi bana diya. Then Dairy Processing and Infrastructure Development Fund, DIDF. So Milk Union, Multi-State Milk Corporatives, State Dairy Federations, Milk Producing Companies and NDDB subsidiaries. Meeting the eligibility criteria under the project can borrow loan from NABARD. Okay. The loan component would be 80% maximum rate with the end borrower's contribution at 20% minimum rate. Borrowers shall get the loan at an interest of 6.5% per annum. The period of repayment will be 10 years. Okay. The respective state government will be the guarantor of loan repayment. Okay. Support for international patent protection in electronic and information technology. SIP EIT. SIP EIT scheme offers several features and benefits to applicants in the information communication technologies and electronic sectors who are seeking financial support for international patent filing. So, who are seeking financial support for international patent filing. Then, multiplier grants scheme. Under this scheme, if the industry supports the R&D of product that can be commercialized at institutional level, the government has provide financial support, which will be twice the amount provided by the industry. Okay. So, support it. MGS, Multiplier Grant Scheme, supports the R&D of product that can be commercialized at the institutional level. Okay. MGS promotes and expedites the development of aboriginal products and packages. The government grants would be limited to a maximum of INR 2 crores per project and the duration of each project would be considerably less than 2 years. It would be rupees 4 crores and 3 years for industry associations. Then, Credit Guarantee Fund for micro and small enterprises, CGT MSC. It allows businesses to avail of loan at highly subsidized interest rates without requiring security. Okay, so it provides loan at highly subsidized interest rate without requiring security. By working along with SIDB, Small Industries Development Bank of India. The government provides a maximum amount of uh, up to rupees 100 lakhs under this scheme by boosting new enterprise uh, enterprises as well as rehabilitating the existing works. Primarily, one of the manufacturing units, this loan can be availed in the form of working capital or term loan. Then, Software Technology Park, STP. 
it is a totally export oriented scheme for the development and export of computer software okay so export oriented scheme for development and export of computer software this includes the export of professional services using communication links or media the scheme is unique in its nature as it focuses on only one sector that is computer software okay the scheme integrates the government concept of 100% export oriented units eou export processing zones epz and the concept of science park or technology pass operating elsewhere in the world then venture capital assistance scheme the scheme is approved by bank and financial institutions regulated by rbi it intends to provide assistance in the form of term loan to farmers so it intends to provide assistance in the form of term loans to farmer so that the latter can meet capital requirement for their projects implementation vca venture capital scheme is for farmers vca promotes the training and nurturing of agri entrepreneurs okay loan for rooftop solar pv pro power projects to rebuild reliance on non conventional source sources of power the government of india has decided to set up 40000 mwp for grid interactive rooftop solar pv plants in the next five years these rooftop solar pv plants will be set up in residential commercial industrial and institutional sector in the country and shall range from 1 kilowatt kwp to 5 500 kwp in terms of capacity okay so loan for rooftop solar pv power projects such rooftop plants are economically viable since they can produce electricity using solar energy at about inr 7 per kilowatt 7 inr 7 per kilo per kwh okay without any subsidy the government also provides a subsidy of 15% on these plants to association to the association or individual companies making the scheme even more lucrative the new gen innovation entrepreneurship development center new gen eidc new gen eidc is an initiative launched by national science and technology entrepreneurship development board under the development of science and technology government of india the initiative aims to inculcate the spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship among the youth okay it also endeavors to support and encourage entrepreneurship through guidance mentorship and support new gen iedc is a five year program that would be implemented in educational institutions so new gen iedc is five year program and it will be implemented in educational institutions it will support up to 20 new projects financial assistance will be provided to the selected institutions for the establishment of new gen iedc so they are going to provide Uh, so the aim is to inculcate spirit of innovation among the youth then it is a five year program implemented in educational institutes and it is also going to support 20 projects by financial assistance okay moving forward single point registration scheme the single point registration scheme was launched in 2003 it is managed by the national small industry corporation nsic registers all micro and small enterprises in india under single point registration scheme to enable to participate in government purchases okay enterprises are classified into micro small and or medium based on the limit of investment okay modified special incentive package scheme msips so under msips the indian government will provide a subsidy of 20% on capital investment in special economic zone and 25% on capital investment in non sec zs for individual companies okay it also provides the reimbursement of cbd excise on capital equipment for non sec zs units it provides incentives for a period of 5 years from the date of approval of the application the reimbursement of the central taxes and duties is also provided for high technology and high capital investment units then stand up india scheme according to the scheme bank loans between 10 lakh to 1 crore can be borrowed by at least one 
स्केड्यूल कास्ट और स्केड्यूल ट्राइब फॉर ओवर एंड एटलीस्ट वन वुमन पर बैंक ब्रांड टू सेटअप अ ग्रीन फील्ड एंटरप्राइज ओके सो स्टैंड अप इंडिया स्कीम इज फॉर एस सी एस टी और वुमन एंटरप्राइज द ग्रीन फील्ड एंटरप्राइज मे बी बेस्ड आउट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड सर्विसेस और द ट्रेडिंग सेक्टर ओके तो दे कैन बी बेस्ड ऑन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सर्विसेस और ट्रेडिंग सेक्टर In the case of non-individual enterprises, it is mandatory that an SC, SP, or a woman entrepreneur owns at least fifty-one percent of the shareholding and controlling stakes. Okay. Extra rural research funding scheme. This scheme encourages emerging and eminent scientists in the field of science and engineering for individual-centric, competitive mode of research funding. Okay. So it is for Eminent research scientists in the field of science and engineering. Only the name extra mural research has been now renamed to core research grant because the scheme provides core research support to active researchers. Okay. High risk, high reward research. High risk, high reward research is a scheme launched by the Indian government to support and invite new proposals and ideas that have potential to usher paradigm. Paradigm shifting influence on science and technology. Domain. So it is a scheme launched by Indian government to support and invite new proposals and ideas that have potential to usher a paradigm shifting influence on science and technology domain. This funding focuses on the new proposals which might be conceptually new and risky but are expected to have a paradigm shifting influence on the S and T science and technology. in terms of formulating new hypothesis or scientific breakthrough breakthroughs which may help in emergence of new technologies then iredea and cef refinance scheme the scheme aims to revive the operation of the existing biomass power uh, and small hydropower projects by cutting down so okay the scheme aims to revive the operations of existing biomass power and small hydropower projects by cutting down the cost of fund for these projects and providing refinance and concessional rates of interest with funds sourced from national clean energy fund okay dairy agriculture development scheme it is a scheme implemented by the department of animal husbandry okay so department of animal husbandry dairy and fisheries to generate self employment opportunities in the dairy sector these opportunities in the mentioned sector will comprise activities like enhancement of milk production enhancement of milk production procurement preservation transportation processing and marketing of milk by providing back back ended capital subsidies for bankable products then drone shakti the government of india launched drone shakti as voiced by the union finance minister nirmala sitaraman in feb on february 1 2022 this initiate this new initiative is designed to motivate startups to produce diverse application of drones produce diverse application of drones including drone as a service furthermore the finance minister also stated that the government would encourage the use of drones by farmers zero defect zero effect certification schemes launched by the government of india with a vision of creating power awareness about z manufacturing among the uh, msmes and motivating them as then the assessment of the enterprise for z and support them okay so zero defect and zero effect and the name suggests the work and it is uh, implemented on msmes z can be some the present integrated and holistic certification and handholding scheme that extends an opportunity to the micro small and medium enterprises to strive to continuously improve their process and move up the z maturity assessment model then last three schemes submission on agricultural mechanism smem the submission on agricultural mechanization mechanism not mechanism mechanization 
is a government initiative that is that was launched by the government of India in 2014-15, aiming to increase the reach of farmer mechanization. To increase the reach of farmer mechanization, especially to small and marginal farmers, and in other such areas where the availability of farm power is low. Then link capital subsidy for technology upgradation, CLSS. Under C CLCSS, the Indian government provides cash for the Indian companies upfront to upgrade modern, upgrade slash modernize their equipment or techniques. This schemes mainly empowers uh, micro and small um, scale enterprises and SMEs. In 2023, with this scheme, an eligible MSME can avail of a credit amount ranging from 1 lakh to 5 crore, available for from both traditional institution, institutional lenders like banks and NBFCs. A business owner can get the MSME loan at a yearly interest rate of 8.5%. Design Clinic Scheme for Design Enterprise. The design cleaning scheme for digital enterprise is a scheme declared by the government to support the MSME manufacturing sector of India. As the government deems that design and innovation are critical to the growth of brand and feels that MSME should develop a design-centric approach to fuel their startup, it aims to infuse design expertise in them. Okay, so design clinic scheme for design expertise is for MSMEs and they want them to, to have a design centric approach okay so these were some of the schemes government schemes for startups or businesses in india so i hope you have made a note for it okay free workshop i have mentioned about the free workshop for cmac so to enroll for the free workshop uh messages send a WhatsApp message on the number given in the description of the video. And then the madam will share all the details with you with the meeting link as well. Okay. If you have any other query, connect with us on any one of these three social media platforms or visit our website, tarkishastra.org. Thank you so much. Jai.